I've had a lot of requests to demonstrate how to take the PDFs downloaded from our puzzle tools and combine them in Canva. So this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to create a book with four different types of puzzles. We're going to do a Sudoku, mazes, word search, and crosswords. So let's start off with Sudoku. I'm going to make a book that's eight and a half by 11. So we need to set the trim size to eight and a half 11 for every one of these. I'll do nine by nine, number of puzzles per page. Let's do four and four solutions. And I'm only going to do four puzzles just to demonstrate how to do this but you could use, you know, as many as you want. Let's just do four mediums. Let's start by doing a refresh. That looks pretty good. I think I might want the numbers just a little bit bigger. So we can go in here. We can up the puzzle titles a little bit and we can make the font size for the puzzles bigger. And we can do the same thing for the answers. Although I think the answers are fine. Let's leave the answers alone. Right, let's do another refresh. All right, now I like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and download it. Except if I download it, I'm only gonna get one page. I wanna have four pages for each one of these puzzles. So let's go ahead and do say four hard, four easy. And this would be kind of very easy. So now let's download it. Let's take a look at our PDF. We've got four pages of our puzzles and four pages of our answers. Okay, now let's go and get some mazes. Again, we need to make it eight and a half by 11. Let's look at the puzzle settings. All right, so let's do, we wanna do four mazes because we wanna have four of them. And since the other one ended at, puzzle number 16. Let's start this one on puzzle 17. Let's stick with rectangle. How about we do hexagon on the inside? And let's go ahead and just have it do the start and the bottom like that. And let's randomize the opening so they'll be different. And yeah, we want to do four solutions per page. And instead of saying maze, we want to say puzzle. So it's the same as the other one. And let's go ahead and do a refresh. Looks good. So let's download our puzzle. And here's what our PDF looks like. We have one, two, three, four puzzles and four answers on one page. So that looks good. I'm going to keep this over here so I can remember the number to start with. Now let's go do some, let's do a word search. Let's do four word searches. So we're gonna do four word searches. We're gonna start our puzzles at 21. Let's do 10 words per puzzle. We'll stick with 15 and 20. And I have some words over here in a spreadsheet. I'll just copy and paste them into our word list. Uh, let's see, we've got 10 words. So let's do five columns. So it'll be two words on each column. Let's go ahead and do a refresh and see what we look, what it looks like. Oh, we forgot to change the book size. So let's go do that. Eight and a half by 11, four per page. And we don't want it to say word search, we want it to say puzzle, so we're consistent. So let's go over here, and instead of title, let's say puzzle. And do another refresh. All right, I like the way that looks, so let's go ahead and download that. All right, let's see what we have. We have one, two, three, four puzzles and four answers all on the same page. That looks good. Let's go on and do our crosswords. We're gonna have eight and a half by 11, four answers per page under the puzzle settings. Let's see, we need to start on puzzle 25. We're gonna do clue, 10 clues per puzzle. We'll keep it at 15, 20. 
And we're only going to do four puzzles. And let's go get the clues. Just going to cut and paste them from my spreadsheet. And let's do a refresh. All right, that looks fine. So let's go ahead and download it. First puzzle, or second. Oh, we started with 15 instead of 25. Let's do it again. All right, now we have our crosswords to start at 25. We've got one, two, three, four puzzles, and all of our answers. Uh, we should have checked our answer page. Those are kind of big, huh? Let's redo that. This time we're going to preview it. Okay, so the font size for the answers, we're going to just bring it down a little bit. Do another refresh, make sure we like it. Still a little bit big, so let's make it a little bit smaller. And let's also make the numbers a little bit smaller. There we go, that looks better. All right, let's download it now. All right, so we still have our four puzzles. And now we have our answer sheet that looks a lot better. Now we have all four of our PDFs and we're ready to go over to Canva and combine them together and we can add graphics or frames around it, whatever you want to do, we can do it in Canva. To import your files into Canva, all you have to do is drag and drop them. You can click on view and wait while they upload. So let's go look at how they imported. So usually, yeah, so Canva doesn't always import puzzles correctly. So they've messed up the crossword puzzle. The mazes are usually good. Let's take a look. Yeah, so the maze file is fine. They usually mess up Sudoku's. Yep, see right here. And they usually mess up word searches too. And yeah, you can see that these are messed up. But I have created a tool for you to use so that you can get these into Canva without them being messed up. And that tool is called PDF to PowerPoint. And it converts every page in the PDF into a ping file and sticks it all into a PowerPoint document that you can then import into Canva and your puzzles won't be all messed up. So let's do that. We have eight and a half by 11. And let's start with the crossword puzzle. Then let's do the word search. And the last one is the Sudoku. Let's go back to Canva. I'm going to delete the ones that had the bad formatting. So let's delete all three of these. Let's leave the maze because the maze was okay. And now I'm going to drag and drop the PowerPoint files that we just downloaded. Okay, so now when we look at them, you see that problem was fixed. So now they're all perfectly formatted. Okay, so let's start with the Sudoku because it's starting here in puzzle one. So we've got over there. Let's open the next one, which is the mazes. Let's go in here. Let's copy all of these pages. and go to here and insert them. And now let's go get the answer page and let's put that over here. So next is the word searches. So again, let's go here, copy all of those, command C to copy. Let's go put them after the mazes, command V to paste and get the answer pages as well. Now that just leaves the crossword puzzle. Once again, we'll go here. We will copy and, and we'll go after here and paste. Grab the answer page, go in here and paste it. So now we have an entire book that has puzzle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
up to 16, then it starts with mazes, 17, 18, 19, 20, goes to word searches, 21, 22, 23, 24. Then to crossword puzzles and all of the answer pages also in numerical order. And since we have a bunch of ocean themed puzzles, how about let's see, let's look for some ocean clip art fish. We put a little fish here. Mm -hmm. We can put something else here. You get the idea. So you can go and edit these and decorate them up however you want. And when you're ready to download them, click on share, download, and then download it using PDF print to get it to be the proper resolution to upload to KDP. So there you have it. You can easily combine any of the puzzle PDFs that you download from a book creator and combine them together into a single book. And if you have any questions about how to do this or about any of our other tools, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.